A check of $200,000 Belize dollars was today presented to the Scout Association of Belize by Taiwanese Ambassador Remus Liu Ku Chen. The monies will be used for the construction of a new headquarters for the association. It was but a dream for the association for five years ago. Today, further steps were taken to transform that dream into a reality. So today, in 2019, this wonderful day that God has given us with a bright sun, we make history as what was a dream turned to an idea, later into a plan, and now into actions. To the support of the Belize Scout Foundation, a building bearing the name of one of the well-deserving contributors to scouting in Belize, our own scout patron, the Sir Colvin L. Young Building, which will house the scout headquarters. And I also thank them for naming the building after me. I do not deserve it, but they think I do. And who am I to argue? with the scouts. A groundbreaking ceremony was held today off Regent Street where Governor General Sir Calvin Young, as a patron scout, agreed to have the building dedicated in his honor. With members of the Scout Association spread throughout the country, President Amanda Aban says that this year, the association will focus on scout campaigns in Orange Rock and Stan Creek districts to revive the discipline in those areas. I can only say that no one is larger than our association. Our inclusive way of doing things will change the way we do scouting in Belize. But it's much more than just a building. The new Scout HQ will act as a home for the thousands of active scouts and volunteers countrywide. The building, according to Ambassador Chen, will also serve the wider community. We know that the overall goal of cultivating a good scout is for the total human development, such as physical, mental, social, and spiritual growth of young boys and girls so that they may find a constructive place in society. Once the project is completed, it will be home to more than 1,000 active scouts and adult volunteers, plus the surrounding community will also benefit from this multifunctional building as well. Neighboring residents will have immediate access to the computer lab and facilities on the ground floor of the building. Other organizations such as the Girl Guides Association and other youth groups will also have access to the meeting room for weekly or monthly gatherings. Hippolyta Novello, News 5.